Hi everyone, in this tutorial video, today we'll be talking about the basic setups and the settings of the GeoFS Flash Simulator in the browser. In any web browser, first step is to go to the GeoFS website. After that, you're gonna click the fly button right here. They also have like the signing options, but you just have to click on the fly. After you click the fly button, it's gonna load a while and then it shows mobile optimized settings. I'm on the PC, so I'm gonna go ahead and click no. This is actually a glitch. Sometimes they just give you mobile on PC. On the bottom side panel, you can see like the options. You can also click O to access that on the keyboard. In graphics, they have some visual performance settings. And then you can also head over to environment, where they have like environmental settings of the outside world. Using the day and the season in the year. To set the weather, you can either just go over the weather quality that's already built, or you can click advanced to build your own weather. If you open the advanced panel, you can have access to many weather-based customization features. With any extensions, they have features like clouds, cloud ceiling, precipitations, fog, fog ceilings, wind speed, wind direction, turbulence, and thermals in the weather. You can experiment with them, but you can do clouds, and then you can do precipitations. Precipitation requires clouds, so it goes with the cloud after a certain amount. You can detect crashes. This feature isn't that good, but sometimes it works and you can also switch on the multiplier or disable it. Now let's talk about how to change the aircraft in the simulator. By clicking on the aircraft button on the bottom side panel, you can access more than 100 aircraft. When you first access the website, the default plane is called Paper Club. It's like a tiny yellow plane. You can always select a different plane, like for example 737. The community contributor panel is like aircraft that are not built by GFS itself, but are contributed by other communities. To change your location, one of the ways is to click on the location button and then enter the city or other places. For example, I tap London, so it gives me a link, and you can verify that by clicking in. Another way to teleport to a certain location is by typing the ICA code. For example, for San Francisco, it's KSFO, so I type it, and now I'm in San Francisco. Talking about the camera, you can press C on your keyboard to change it, or you can click the camera on the side panel and then switch your own camera viewpoints. Different aircrafts have different cameras, so it's all different, and some of them they don't have, like, let's say the gear, some of them they don't have the tail. Take the American Airlines 777. So I click C to switch it to cockpit camera, and right now it's paused, so you gotta click P two times to reload. You can turn the sound on or off by clicking S or clicking it on the side panel. You can click H to display or not display the instruments. And you can also click V to view your playback of what you just flew. Flying controls tutorial is coming soon, so in the next video we'll be talking about how to actually fly in the simulator. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe for the flying tutorial.